Sure, Nashville has a lot of talented musicians, but you can't make good music without quality instruments. And that's where Joe Glazier and his talented team come in. They rebuild, repair, and restore some of the best instruments played by some of the best players in the business. Well, Cindy Carter dropped into their low-profile shop in Berry Hill. Joe Glaser is not a Nashville singer or songwriter. Moved to Nashville trying to break into what was very a very close held, tight knit, good old boy world. Nor does Joe Glaser sing or play backup for anyone in the music industry. Nashville is staffed by people who came here thinking they were going to be somebody. And he doesn't want to. What I do best is I'm a problem solver. But Joe's work is heard and even felt on stages across the world. If I don't have a steady hand, I don't have good eyes, I don't have anything as much as I have the talent of being able to look at some, something and figure, figure out how to do it, even if nobody's ever done it before. If, if there's no solution in the world, I'm pretty good at doing that. And inside Glacier Instruments, Joe figures out how to repair and restore the stringed instruments that keep local musicians humming. So the devil's in the details, obviously. And in this town, there are lots of details. Broken guitar necks, adjustable saddles, tailplates, tuning. It's an almost endless list and customers are very particular about who they trust with their prized possessions. A lot of people will wave goodbye to them when they leave, <laughs> you know. It's something that everybody has their number one, they have their, that's something they've spent their money on, that's something that they've played a lot of shows with, that is their baby. And this problem solver thrives on taking on the jobs no one wants to do or can do. It makes more sense to figure out what a given instrument needs and put each solution with the person who's best at it. Sometimes that's Joe, and sometimes it's a member of his talented team. And everyone here couldn't say enough about how extremely rewarding it is working with artists and the instruments behind the songs. Like the time rocker Peter Frampton dropped off his guitar from the iconic Frampton Comes Alive album cover. He recovered that guitar after 20 years of it being lost or something. and. It, it needed some work on it. I think Joe did most of the work, and then I did a little setup work on it. But to get to strum it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it, was, it was awesome. Though Joe originally started out building guitars, he now prefers repair and restoration because it allows him to interact with his customers more frequently. And many of those interactions are pretty mind-boggling. When you are working with somebody on something, you hand it to them and say, check it out, see if that rattle's gone away, see if this is in tune, see if, and they're sitting there playing. And they are at close range, 50 times better than they are from the distance. Boy, Joe, that's nice. Here's musician Ed King picking up his 56 Stratocaster. Ed is one of the original members of Leonard Skinner and co-wrote a little song called Sweet Home Alabama. It looks. It looks great. I mean, that, that has a lot to do with Nick and, and Scott getting yeah. that color right and stuff. Yeah, yeah. no, it's, it's, it's beautiful. And you kept the nut. That's what's yeah. amazing mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. King says repair quality is very important because it dictates the sound, which drives everything. You want to be inspired to play. And uh, every time you're inspired, it just brings, thing out, brings music out of you. It probably wouldn't have happened. Respect from players like King took some time. Joe moved to Nashville in 1979 from Silicon Valley, where he was working for a company that made focusing magnets for particle beam accelerators. Yeah, very different work, but Joe found it interesting. Still, it was his desire to build guitars, not play them, that brought him to Music City. For people who play, I built an instrument that was a direct takeoff on the Fender Telecaster, except I, my innovation was to put a middle pickup in, which gave it a certain sound that everybody happened to like at the time. Joe's reputation for building unique guitars started to spread. However, eventually, he says he grew bored with building and turned his attention to repair. 
Decades later, Joe and his team literally do what no one else can do, and they're so good at it, you won't even see a sign in front of their Berry Hill workshop. They don't need one. The musicians know where to find them. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Good to see you again. It's always good. So Joe Glaser doesn't need the spotlight. He's happier behind the scenes, knowing his team is an important part of what makes Music City sing. It's hard not to go into some, I'm not even religious, but to, to, to go into some virtually religious experience about how great life is when, when truly world-class art is right here in front of us. And not only that, we're in a position to contribute to it. It's really great. Thank you.